Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a collab with Megan Hilt. She will also be doing her makeup like she used to in high school. I will link all of her information down below. Please head on over to her channel and let her know that I sent you and stay tuned to see how I achieved this look. All right, so the first step of today's process isn't something that I did in high school. I wish I had. If I had known that moisturizing was so important for your skin, I definitely would have done this in high school. I'm starting my day off with the Daily Renewal Cream by Janelle. I typically apply this immediately after I wash my face. My face and skin have been very dry, so it's really important for me to keep my skin moisturized. And I just gently massage that all around my face. Once I let that absorb into my skin and work its magic, I'm going to use the Radiance Lotion, also by Janelle. I have found that with these products, products that if you use too much, it does take a little bit longer for the product to absorb into your skin. So typically one pump for each product is just enough for me to cover my entire face. And then I just gently massage that into my skin. While I'm waiting for that to absorb, I typically just go ahead and get my chores done around the house and chase my toddler around. All right, the moment of truth, my foundation. So I used the Cover Girl Aqua Smooth. It's just a cream foundation that you apply with this little applicator sponge. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this Aqua Smooth all over my face and we'll see how it goes. Now. Keep in mind that when I was in high school, my acne was not as bad as it is today. Well, actually, my I wouldn't say that my acne is bad today. I would just say that I do suffer from a lot of scarring, especially right along my cheeks. A few days ago, I actually woke up with this little beast here that has decided to take camp on my face. And now, of course, I deal with all of the scars on my skin. All right, here we have it. Half of my face done and covered in foundation. And as you can see, it looks pretty cakey. I think we're on the right path. In case you were curious, the shade that I went with today was Natural Ivory. So again, this isn't a step that I did in high school, but I am going to use some lip scrub. And today I'm using a sample of the Caramel Cray Cray Lip Scrub. I was sent this by Jetter Sposh of Perfectly Sposh. I will link her information down below. And I'm just gonna leave that on my lips while I do my eye makeup. Now, my eye makeup was very unique in high school. And now, when I look back, almost embarrassing, I would literally bring my eyeshadow all the way up to my eyebrows. So today, I'm going to do that for you. So the most infamous color that I would go with was a blue gradient effect. So today I'm starting off with the L'Oreal Reflection Pool in 205. And I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. And of course, I'm using a sponge tip applicator because back then, when you're 15, 16, you don't know what makeup brushes are. I'm not even really sure that they had professional makeup brushes like they do today. I know that they have like a billion different brushes that you can use. So just get that color all over the lid. Eyeshadow really isn't sticking very well without a, ma a makeup primer or an eyelid primer, but back then we didn't know what eyelid primer was or, you know, again, I'm not even really sure that it was available. So we're talking like 2000 to like 2004. All right, now that I have that all over the lid, of course I have to apply a little bit of a darker blue to that just in my crease. I am using the CoverGirl. I have no idea what color shade it is because there is no sticker. Now, I'm not really sure what made me think that this looked good. I just couldn't, I couldn't tell you. And I know that when my best friends see this video, because I am friends with a, a couple of girls from high school still, they're just going to crack up. And more than likely they'll comment below with something that I missed. 
Now I'm having a lot of fallout, just a ton of fallout, and I'm sure it's going to stick to that cream foundation because it is still moist. And you know, I just wasn't the type of person, and I really still am not. I always put my face makeup on before I put my eye makeup on, and I just deal with the fallout afterwards. But I'm So I went ahead and I removed the lip scrub that I had on my lips. I think the next step I'm going to do is apply mascara. Of course, this is probably the most popular mascara during my years of high school. Now, I didn't use your typical black mascara too often. Unfortunately, I liked the colored mascaras, mostly the blue mascara. Today, I actually have a wink of pink. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this pink mascara to my eyelashes. Wow, just that just looks so, so great, doesn't it? I really like it. I would have worn a shirt that I probably would have worn in high school if I owned one that was similar, but unfortunately I don't own one that's similar. I think that I leaned toward a lot of tie-dye in high school and it wasn't popular. That's just what I wore. And then I also wore my pants rolled up just like to the ankles so that you could see my colorful socks and a lot of the time they were toe socks but I'd be wearing sneakers and you couldn't see that I was wearing toe socks. All right, I have a pink mascara on and it kind of looks like I have pink eye. As long as we're at it, I have this glitter mascara that I know for sure was put in my hair, on my eyelashes. I wore body spray that had glitter in it and it would just be all over the place. So we're going to put some glitter on my eyelashes. Then nobody knew to do your eyebrows. The only thing that I did do to my eyebrows was pluck them very, very, very thin. Like just a lot thinner than they are now. And that's not saying much. So the last step for my eyes is going to be this Wet n Wild eyeliner. And back then, the formula wasn't very good. So you had to use a lighter to get this stick to apply. So I wouldn't apply it to my top lid, believe it or not. I would only apply it to my waterline. So let's go ahead and do that. You gotta get it as dark as possible. And back then there was no smudging, so you just leave it like a harsh line like that. And that's the eyeliner, folks. So what do you think? I don't think it looks so bad. I would say it's looking pretty good. Yeah. And the last step for me, because I didn't use blush, I mean, could you imagine blush on this face? Like right now, the way it is. Could you imagine if I had put blush on? Oh my gosh. So like I had said before, I didn't wear lipstick or anything like that. Most of the time it was like a glitter lip smacker gloss or something like that. Uh, I don't have anything that's super similar to that, but I do have an e.l.f. smudge pot in Ain't That Sweet, and I'm just going to put that on my lips so we can just finish that off, and I think that this is perfect. So this is really, this is as close to my makeup look that I could possibly get from high school. Now, my hair was very short in high school, so there's no way to show you how my hair looked in high school. I either had it in a pixie cut or just at my jawline. Oh, look at that neck. Can you see? This is just great. Does it bring you back? Yeah, brings me back. Oh my gosh. My lips are just so dry that the Elf Smudge Pot wasn't going to work out. It was just, just clinging to all of the dry skin on my lips. So why not try applying some of that glitter mascara? It says that it's a body mascara. So I'm taking that as I can put that on my lips and I think that it looks a lot better. I mean, it really pulls the whole 
look together. The eyelashes being pink and now my lips are a glittery pink, but oh my gosh, the way that this e.l.f. smudge pot looked on my lips was just revolting. So I couldn't end my video like that. Anyways, thank you again for spending a few minutes of your day watching me do my makeup like I used to in high school. Please check out the link below to Megan's video so that you can watch how she used to do her makeup in high school. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you are notified of future videos. I will include all of the links to my social media down below as well. And thank you again and have a great day. Bye. Here if I can get it open. That looks terrible.